Hey everybody, it's Steph, Creator Respecter. I wanted to take a moment uh, before this episode to thank everyone for the warm welcome that you all extended to the show on our launch on May 22nd. Hearing your feedback and excitement over the characters, story, music, and sound design made me (laughs) so happy. And I hope that the cast, crew, and I are able to keep you all entertained for the duration of the series. Additionally, if you stick around to the very end of this episode, you'll get to hear the fantastic trailer for Rogue Maker, another fantastic sci-fi mystery audio drama that features music, intercepted fast food advertisements, and things that should never be found. You'll want to listen to the trailer. I promise you won't be disappointed. Thanks again, and I hope you enjoy Spectre's second episode, Stowed. Spectre is intended for mature audiences. Listener discretion is advised. Anybody out there? Guess not. Oh, God's this bed. Torture device all on its own. Bro? Bro? Can you hear me? Hello? God damn it. Maybe he's got to fix this piece of crap comm system. Hey, I can't understand you. Might want to jiggle the aux cable or something. What? Uh, Ox cable? We're a bit more advanced than that here. Actually, you know what? Hold on. All right. Can you hear me now? Crystal clear. Great. I'm calling because I read elevated levels from you. Are are you okay? Oh, I'm so glad you asked. Thank you. No, I am not okay. I'm cooped up in this stupid room, and all I want is to get off this rusty old space boat. You know I can't do anything about that. Well, let me talk to the people who can, then. Yeah, you'll get to talk to them. Maybe. You know, for a doctor, your bedside manner could really use some work. I'm not a doctor. You're running the med bay, and you're not a doctor? Nope. Just a medic. Well, good to know. Note to self, don't get sick or hurt. Anything else I can help you with? You know, I didn't think it was customary to ask your hostages what you can do to help them. Look, you're not a... Fine. Thanks for the help. Left to my own devices again. Hmm. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so, pills, looks like. For a Greer Needmeyer. Needemeyer? Whatever. Oof, looks like Greer's in debt. Better get those finances in order, buddy. Ooh, what are you hiding here, Needmeyer? 
day Y minus 142, 2300 Earth time. Entry number one. <laughs> you know, okay, it, it, it's funny. This is the first time I'm picking up this recorder after buying it two or three cycles ago, and even funnier, that it's going to be my last time. Uh, I've taken a position with another ship. Lillian is none too happy, but she respects it. I'll be closer to home more regularly, so that's my main reason. The ship's a lot smaller, though, so I'm having to pare down my belongings, only taking the essentials, as it were. I imagine whoever replaces me will be able to use this better than I can, so I'll leave it. Whoever you are, know that you've just joined a crew of good people. Rough around the edges, yes, but good nonetheless. Be patient with them, work with them, and in time, you'll have some of the best team, no, family, that you've ever had. Greer out. I don't want to call you a liar, Greer, but... <laughs> Oops. Know that you've just joined a crew of good people. Rough around the edges, yes, but good nonetheless. Be patient with them, work with them, and in time, you'll have some of the best team... No, family that you've ever had. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, shoot, didn't mean to hit record. You know what? Why not? <laughs> Day, who the hell knows, at approximately nobody cares a clock. Status log. I'm not in the med bay anymore, which is nice, but I'm in what I'm told is called a guest suite, but that is definitely not the phrase I'd use to describe it. Jail cell, maybe. Torture chamber? Okay, maybe that's not fair. It's not like the ship is a luxury cruiser or anything. The bed is unreasonably uncomfortable, but I have an ensuite bathroom, and I get three square meals a day. I'm just annoyed that I can't step foot outside this room without an escort. And there's nothing to do. Besides the bed, a bedside stand filled with bills that aren't mine, and a cubby on the opposite wall with a single copy of some ancient manual for obsolete thrusters in it, I've got nothing to entertain myself. Other than my brain, that is. Oh, and this recorder. <laughs> they didn't even have the decency to give me a personal comms unit. At least that way I could play a game or something. All I've got is this stupid wall box that connects to various rooms on board. Oh, wait. There's a thought. I have much experience with that. So you just think it and the suit does it? Yes and no. It's more like ideation paired with strategically planned micro-movements. Oh, how many movements? All depends on the action I want it to take. Does anyone want any more of this stew? Nah, I'm good. Thanks, though. I could use another plate. You really outdid yourself with this one, buddy. I tried something new with the lab-grown meat substitute. I don't know how I feel about it yet. It feels too... chewy, I think. Ooh, hey, Grace! Did you ever get any of those strawberries synthesized? Strawberries? Uh, they've been very stubborn. But they're getting closer. Nobody told me about strawberries. I haven't had a strawberry since I left home. Please, can I have one? I wouldn't get too excited. Natural strawberries are too difficult to grow in interstitial space, even on board a climate and ozone-controlled ship. So the ones I've been working on are purely synthesized. Right now, everything is wrong. The color, the flavor, the texture. But I'll get there. Hey, what is that? Okay, who else is chatting? Answer is no. Warren, you're being unreasonable. Unreasonable? This is a bad idea. I have too much on my plate already, and, and I... And she can help take some of that off your shoulders. I don't understand why you're so opposed. You are fully aware of why this is such a profoundly shitty idea. I don't play well with others. Well, it's about time you learned how. Now, this order comes directly from Lillian, and as your first mate, Ed, I'm... don't make me do this. You know I don't have a choice. Orders are orders. Hey, 
Hey! Macy, now is not the best time. Sorry for butting in, but I'm pretty sure you'd want to know that we have a potential issue with the comm system. Uh-oh. I don't have it totally figured out just yet, but I got lots of warning pings just now. We've been hacked. Hacked. Crap. Look here. A few minutes ago, a pathway was created between here and here. That's the mess hall, and that's a storage berth. And our passcode was bypassed manually. Now, I can without a doubt confirm that I didn't do it, and Grape and Ada were with me when it happened, and I'm pretty sure neither of you has the technical know-how. So that leaves me to believe that our new friend knows more than she's letting on. In fact, she could very well be listening to this conversation right now. Can't you just shut off access for that room? Not without shutting down the entire comm system for everyone. Remember how I recommended an upgrade to our existing system? Well, this is what I... I'd say I told you so, but... Macy, go check the storage berth. And play it casual. Got it. Espionage mode on. Damn it, I should have known better. How can I make this look like a malfunction? <laughs> okay, no... Wait. Ah, there. That should do it. Oh, the manual. Hey, wanna let me in? You know as well as I do that I don't control when that door opens or closes. Oh, right. Sorry about that. Hello. Hi. Who are you? Macy, Spectre's engineer. It's really nice to finally meet you. How you doing? Just fancy, notwithstanding. I know you didn't ask, but I'm just wonderful. <laughs> well, anyway, I've heard Ed and Warbley talking about you all secret-like, so I thought I'd come say hello and see you for myself. Well, hello. I, I was in the middle of reading, and I was kind of into it, so... Oh, that old thruster manual? Huh. I guess it could be interesting to the right kind of person. I mean... Uh... Sorry, I was kind of hoping that we could talk. You're the shiny new penny everyone's talking about, and I want all of the details. I hate to break it to you, but I'm probably the worst person to ask for details. So where'd you come from? <sighs> Wherever you folks picked me up. Hmm. I don't really keep tabs on where we go. I'm from a small colony on Ganymede. I'm actually like you. I wanted to get off moon, so I snuck on board and hid in this really small area in the cargo bay until we were far enough away that it didn't make sense to take me back. Pretty smart, huh? Yeah. If only I had thought of that. <laughs> well, being cooped up in a room with a bed and stuff is a whole lot better than a smuggler's compartment, so maybe it's better that they found you. So you're going to stay with us? I don't think that's up to me right now. I think you should stay. The Spectre is really fun once you get used to it. We're always going to exciting places, meeting really interesting people. Ugh, you should stay. I'll keep that in mind. In fact, what can you do? I think they're looking to find someone to help Warbly out in navigation. Know anything about that? I'm not sure. Well, don't worry too much. You could always learn. You seem like you're pretty smart. That's what I did with engineering. Luckily, it comes really easy to me, so I caught on pretty quickly. Good for you. That's your ticket to staying here, though. Find a way to make yourself useful, even if it's maintenance or something. Though, we all take turns with that. Grape doesn't have as good a nose as the rest of us, so they normally handle the gross stuff. They don't seem to mind. Grape seems like a real stand-up human. Oh, Grape's not human. Grape is... Ah, you'll see. Grape's great. Lots of fun. Got it. You know, actually, while I'm here, I'm going to check out your comms unit, if you don't mind. I got a weird signal from it earlier. Be my guest. So, how'd you know we'd pick up that trash bin? I didn't. Oh. Really? Wait, then why were you in it? I was hiding. Ooh. From who? Bad people. <gasps> Ooh. Tell me more. That's all I've got. I don't remember much else, and what I do remember is really blurry. <laughs> so what, your memory just really blows, or what? Got a bad concussion? Fought a space whale? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it just really blows. <laughs> eh, that's okay. We can help you make new memories, on the Spectre. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. So you're considering it? Considering what? Staying on board the Spectre, silly. <laughs> I don't really have anywhere else to go, do I? Oh, good! You'll love it here. You'll find that we're all really open with one another, super friendly and welcoming. We're a family. We trust each other. 
Well, I'm all done here, I think. Do you need anything? Don't think so. Unless you can convince Edward to give me free reign on board. Uh, that'll happen. Just not yet. It's like my mother used to say. Never cut a tree down in the wintertime, Macy. You know, now that I think about it, that makes no sense. We don't have any trees on Ganymede. (laughs) What are you going on about, Mom? Well, anyway, I've got to get back to the engineering deck. See you when I see ya! If they found anything, they certainly hit it well. Oh, (laughs) how clever. (laughs) They've installed an encrypted channel blocker and key logger. Hmm. I'll need to keep an eye on that kid. Any updates? The last time she was seen was at the spaceport. Nothing since then. The only logical explanation is that she's no longer on the planet. And no further transmissions from the implant. There was one blip out in the Bantham sector but we've determined that to be a false reading. Why is that? The Bantham Sector is nearly 200,000 light-years outside Via Lactea. The only ships that could have gotten there between the time she escaped to when we received the signal are military. And if she was under their care, we'd know about it. Contact General Abawi to confirm, and send a reconnaissance vessel to the location of the ping. Canvas the area, ask questions at nearby stations and outposts. Sir... Don't you think that's a reckless use of our resources? We don't know that- Do it. I expect a report in 48 hours. Sir, it will take the reconnaissance vessel nearly 48 hours just to get there. Then make it 50. Fine, asshole. You want? You need to come with me. Need? Yes, need. Captain's orders. Not my captain. It'd be who of you not to test me. Ugh. I, I. So, care to tell me what's going on? Don't know. Don't care. Ah, I see. So how long- I'm not here to be your friend, Curly. Curly? <laughs> Atta, report. On the way. Begrudgingly, but yes. Play nice, Atalanta. You know me. I'm always nice. Just the nicest. What was that? Nothing even in the slightest. That's what I thought. And reporting to the bridge with our stowaway. How many times do I have to tell you people that I am not a stowaway? Thank you for joining us, Ro. Funny, you say that like I had a choice. Please. You're lucky we didn't toss you out the airlock. If it had been up to me... thank you. You're dismissed. Whatever. Gomzi, if you need me. You know, she is just a peach. Don't mind, Atta. She'll warm up eventually. Will I be here long enough for her to warm up to me? Ro, you must realize the position we're in. What position is that? We are currently harboring a fugitive. We may be in space, but that doesn't mean we don't check the news or that we're not held accountable by law. They were holding me against my will. Why? I don't know. I don't remember anything. Look, just just drop me off on the nearest rock. I'll figure something out. That way you can wash your hands of me. No harm done. I won't tell a soul. I can't do that. Why? Surely we can negotiate something that benefits us both. Why in the universe do you think I'd even want to join ranks here? I like her, Edward. She's got spunk. Uh, who's... Hello, Lillian. Lillian, as in the captain. Yes, as in the captain. Nice to meet you. Ro, is it? Likewise. May I please leave your ship? Straight to the point. I like that. But no. Why? Ro, let's just take a moment... Because I find you fascinating... Former military poster child turned mental patient? I'll admit, the details about you were limited at best, but what I did find was... very interesting. Military? I've never been in the military. You you must have me confused with someone else. See, Edward? Fascinating. Okay, look here. (laughs) Ro, let me explain. No explanation necessary. 
I just need to know when I'll be allowed to get off this tin bucket. At this time, we have no plans of dropping you off on some remote planet, if that's what you mean. But please be aware that we want you to be as comfortable as possible. <laughs> I believe we can help each other. How's that? That will be largely dependent upon you. I'm gonna need a little more information to go on than that. You need a place to crash. Lay low for a bit, correct? Perhaps. And that helps you how? It doesn't. You're an extra mouth to feed, but I'm sure we could find a place for you on board. Help us carry some of the burdens of running the business, lend a hand around the ship. You know, basic things. I'm assuming you'll want this so-called help free of charge. Absolutely not. You'll receive a cut of the profits, just like everyone else. I'm not a tyrant. That has yet to be determined. <laughs> While I would support you taking the time to make this decision, I'm afraid we're a bit limited in how much we can offer. How limited? Edward, when will we be arriving? Uh, just over 36 hours. You can sleep on it. You've got to be kidding me. I... <laughs> What if we do a trial period? Meaning? We could take her on the mission with us, see how she performs and how she likes the work. If it's a good fit, we'll continue. If it's not, then we part ways, no harm, no foul. Including her on a mission could make us vulnerable. We can't expect her to take a leap of faith unless we do the same. Hmm. Approved. Hey, me again. Do I get any say in this? Now's your time to say whatever you'd like. Oh. Uh, provisionally accepted? Well, then I suppose I should say, welcome aboard the Spectre. Provisionally. Welcome aboard, Ro. <sighs> but it's uh, time to get some shut-eye. We have some prep to do before we arrive. Uh, Lillian, do you need anything else from me? Mm, I don't believe so. Report back before leaving the ship. Aye. Do you know your way back? I can figure it out. Uh, the code to your room is Stowaway 92 B Star. Uh, you're welcome to change it via the comms panel just inside the door. <laughs> Very funny. Atta, I'm showing a hole breach in the cargo hold. <coughs> uh. <coughs> Atta and I are. <laughs> Incapacitated. Macy, what have we got in security? Bunch of goons just forced their way onto the ship. Garen and Ada are holding them off in the cargo hold, but it looks like a few have broken through. They're headed straight for you. Warren, prep for combat. Aye. Um, hey, hey, folks. Not now, Macy. We've got company. Ready, Warren? Yippee-ki-yay. No, seriously! You need to see- Macy, save hold! That is an order! Can I talk now? Fine. What's going on? A group splintered off and went for Roe instead of the bridge. They got into her quarters. What? Is she okay? I'll go check it out. No need. She... took care of them. I guess? What do you mean? Pretty sure they're all dead. She's standing right outside the bridge doors. You should have seen it. She's amazing. Bridge doors open. Holy shit. How nice of you to join me. You've just been listening to Stowed, the second episode of Spectre, an indie sci-fi audio drama podcast. I'm Steph Howerton, the creator and showrunner, and I'm so glad that you chose to spend some time with us today. If you have a moment, I'd appreciate it if you could rate and review Spectre on your podcast platform of choice. It's a really great and easy way to help new listeners find the show, and the more people who listen, the more we can do in future episodes. This episode featured the voice talents of myself, Steph Howerton, as Ro, Alan Chan as Warren Lee, David Alt as Edward Whitlaw, David S. Deere as Garen Bykirch, Tal Minear as Macy Vincent, Newton Shottlecotty as Atalanta Harris, Stephanie Tobin as Lillian Dunn, Kareem Cronfley as Dr. Carl Amos, and Lindsay Zana as Dr. Cicely Bennett. Sarah Ray Werner was also featured in this episode as Greer Needmeyer. Sound design by Brad Colbrook and music by Tim Roscoe. For a written list of credits and a full script of this episode, please visit SpectrePod.com 
That's S-P-E-C-T-R-E pod.com. You can also chat with us on Twitter or Instagram via the handle at SpectrePod. Thank you so much again for spending part of your day with us. There are a plethora of great podcasts to listen to out there, and I'm so honored that you opted to listen to Spectre. Have an absolutely wonderful day. Hello, can anyone, can anyone hear me? This is Pascal Almagest, passenger on Plutonic Flight 999. From Radiant Entertainment, as you. Oh. It's Rose oh. Well, oh. 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 the game you know and love. Uh. Unleash your inner ancient Earth athlete in Rose Well. You'd think floating in an escape pod with no solid comms link is the one place in the universe you'd be safe from advertisements. What was that? I bumped something. The pod bumped something. There's something out there. The group elders do say to expect the unexpected during your wander. Plutonica cheapskates on maintenance. Everyone knows that. There's nothing we can do now but wait. Rescue will be coming soon. What if I told you it was sabotage? What? Sabotage. Like someone messing with the flight sabotage. Be very careful what words you're throwing around here. That's one of the first rules of being a spacer. If the question has no good answers, it's better you don't ask it. I need you to tell me in detail exactly what you saw as you made your way to the escape pod. You let them go into the cockpit and reprogram ship. If you're seeing this pillard, then everything will have changed. You should know I tried to stop it. But I died doing something that mattered for once in my damn life. Trust me. I can last longer without food or water than any of you. Our coordinates, one by one. We're too close. Rogue Maker. A science fiction podcast. Have you been listening to it? It's been speaking to us. Have you been listening to it? It's hopeless. It's hopeless. Oh.